take three. <laughs> yeah, I'm at work, so um, I had a few customers come in, had to take care of them, make that money, don't let it make you. So, uh, yeah. I started this vlog, so I'm just starting all over because I really forgot where I was. But um, I hope everybody's doing good. It's Saturday, and I work at a boutique on Saturdays. And um, I had a little downtime, but then it kind of picked back up. Nevertheless, um, there are a few topics that I want to vlog about. This is one of them. And then uh, there are two movie reviews that I want to do. I don't think I've ever really did a movie review, but I'm about to do two of them. Um, so make sure you check out Bad Boys 3 and A Fall From Grace on Netflix. I'm going to do my movie reviews on those later, but right now I got something else that is um, on my mind. Y'all got to tell me. Okay, so yesterday I was hanging out with one of my friends and she told me, that she really likes this guy and she was praying for him but she was praying for him in the sense like you know lord let this be my man i really like him this 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 and a few days prior to that i just had this thought about a guy that i like and my thought was is it even okay to pray for him in that manner you know pray for him in the sense you know i hope that we can be together. I hope this is my boyfriend. I hope this is my husband. Um, this, 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 in that sense. But I don't know. So instead of praying that prayer, I pray, you know, bless. He's in school, so bless um, his classes, bless his mind, the people around him, bless his family. That was my prayer, just more for him as a person you know, praying from that way, because I don't know, like, is it okay to pray for somebody in that manner? Because I also had the thought, what if he's for somebody else? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's one thing to be trifling and pray for somebody, and you know that there was somebody like, Lord, break that happy home of this, like, that's trifling, don't do that. But I'm talking about this person that, as far as I know, is single, um, and I like him, and I think he likes me. So here's the situation. So um, last year, um, I met this guy, and over the summer, we had a chance to work together. It was one of those situations, and I felt like we became really quick friends. Had a lot in common, like crazy stuff in common. Um, same kind of car, same kind of color, stuff like that. Um, same kind of food, just like, I don't know, we had really a lot of stuff in common. And I loved his conversation. Loved talking to him. It didn't matter what we were talking about. Um, but I loved it as a friend initially. But I was like, oh, he cool. Because I like to talk and I can talk about anything. And he likes to talk and he can talk about anything. So we found ourselves a lot of times just talking about things. Sometimes it would be work related. Sometimes it would be like our past and things that we had going on. Um, you know, but for me, relationship wise that's something that that's my um that's my interview like for a job interview when people see you know if this is really somebody that we want to work with want to be around for me the conversation is my job interview um because i feel like you can learn a lot about a person just by talking to them seeing what their mind is and the fact that I could talk to him about anything and I felt comfortable enough and open enough to share things with him. Um, yeah. So nevertheless, one day he saw me doing something and he was like, you know, give me a few years. Um, if you're not with anybody, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna marry you. And I just rolled my eyes because to me, I was like, I can't take you serious. I've heard that so many times I can't count that not necessarily that specific phrase, but I'm gonna marry you. Your wife material, you're gonna be my wife one day. You're gonna make a good wife one day. I've heard it so many times. Like I've heard it a lot, especially in these past 10 years. I've heard it a lot. So that does nothing for me, nothing at all. But he would say it consistently all the time. And I'd just be like, okay, whatever, you know, just not, I wouldn't even really play into it. Um, I don't know. 
I guess that's just me. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I didn't, that, that's not where my thinking was. My thinking was right now. Well, let's make something shake right now. Not marriage, but like, why can't we pursue a relationship right now? That's where my head was. That's where my head is. I still don't understand it. So nevertheless, fast forward. Um, we end working together. He doesn't live here. Um, we don't live in the same city. So he goes back and we don't talk. We don't communicate at all. And it that hurt my feelings. I mean, it broke me down, baby. It broke me down to the least common denominator. And so I'm saying, like, I was really hurt because I was like, it's, it's one thing for you to say, you know, like, okay, maybe, maybe you do think maybe we'll get married. Oh, child, I've heard it so much. It's irritating. But what about now? Like, and I thought we were friends at the end of the day. I thought, you know, friends communicate. You don't got to communicate every day. I don't talk to my best friends every day. I can't think of anybody that I really talk to every day other than maybe my sister and my mom. But we didn't even keep in contact on a friendship basis. And that really hurt my friends because, and I'm not one of those, I think you're supposed to be friends before you start a relationship. I just thought he was my friend. And so... When he hit me up a few months ago, it was one of those, you know, um, I thought about you and I hope all is well, you know, like it's been a few times I thought about you. This, well, why didn't you reach out? Because I feel like, especially as a guy, and I feel like if you honestly want to pursue something, I don't know. I'm so confused, but my pride will not let me reach out and say anything. And I think... Um, I don't know. He's been on my mind, like, here lately a lot. And I want to, uh, I want to reach out and just say, how are you doing? This, this, this. But I don't want to seem like a geek, if that makes sense. You know? Um, I'm just, I'm confused. I'm really confused because, like I said, I thought we were friends. I don't even know how to make it make sense. I hope if you're watching this, you understand what I'm trying to say, what I'm trying to convey. Um, like, I really like this guy. I could really see myself being with him. But you say all this stuff about marriage, and then we leave each other, and you don't even say anything. Like, I don't understand. Or am, I, am I literally, let's just say, we? I don't see him again for another few years. And then, like, life is not really like a movie. Life is not always like a fairy tale. So do you really expect me to just drop everything and pick up everything? Oh, we really don't talk. This is this. But we see each other. And we're, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're supposed to start something together. I don't know where his, um, I don't know where his mindset is. Mine is just in the right now. Like, why can't we be in a relationship right now? Um, I don't know. Because he never told me he liked me. He just jumped to give me a few years and I'm going to marry you. And like I said, ooh, flirt feels life flirting. I flirt heavier with people that I really don't even like. <laughs> but I really, I really like him. Like, he definitely is the type that I would see him and he would give me butterflies. You know, like, really like them. But I don't understand. I, I don't. And then it's crazy because we have mutual friends. They're more his friends because they've known him longer. And anytime I'm getting ready to say something, oh, don't say nothing about so-and-so. Oh, yeah, that's so-and-so, girl. You love so-and-so. And I'm like, why? Because to me, that's, I think that they or that they've been having conversations like sidebar conversations but i'm like i don't really talk about i can't talk about anybody that's not showing me any kind of attention like initially i was telling my closest people about him i was like yeah like i you know like i like this dude he's real cool this is this but then for him to just kind of drop me i don't know but i do know that some things are just situational like you talk to some people 
Um, you hang around certain people. You're only there in that moment because of the situation. So I don't know. I feel like my heart wouldn't let me pray for him um, because I really don't know what. Um, oh, okay, I thought they were coming in. My heart wouldn't let me pray because I'm always trying to figure out what the other person is thinking. So what if I'm praying for him? to be with me and I mean I but I guess that's how it goes because you really don't know what that person's mind is I don't know I don't know um I don't know I don't know but he's been on my mind heavy but I'm also I'm really shy and I embarrass easy so it's like I want to reach out I want to say hey how are you like I don't, I don't even want to say, like, what's up? I want him to... I love when a man takes the lead. I love when he is actively pursuing me. And I, I have to let my guard down. I have to be open, but I can't do that. I can't do it. Um, I don't know. I can't do that in this situation right now. And I want to. I want, like, he's who I really like... <laughs> I just, um, I don't know. If you've been following my vlogs, you know I've been here and back with different situations, different guys. But it ain't been nothing serious. Um, dang. I ain't trying to sound like, you know, like, as my daddy say, no cream puff or nothing like that. But I feel like he has a piece of my heart. And... I don't know if I can fully move on until we talk, but it's hard because we don't stay in the same place. And I don't know if we both have too much pride, whereas it's like, I'm not going to really say anything. I'm not going to hit her up like that. And then I'm thinking the same thing. I'm not going to hit him up like that, but I want to know how he's doing. I want to know if, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want to know if he's okay. Um, I care about him. A lot, and I wish that we could just sit down and talk about everything. I don't know, but I think right now my prayer is going to be just to cover him as a person. Um, yeah, to cover him as a person, you know, just for his life to 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 be well and for God to lead him and guide him the way that God wants to. And I have to trust God enough to know that he has the best for me. And if that's who he wants me to be with, then I know it'll work out. But I guess I just have to be patient because right now, like, I miss him. I do. I miss him. Gosh. I don't know. I ain't finna cry. <laughs> Don't worry about that. I'm not going to cry or nothing like that. But I don't know. I really miss him. I just, but I don't know. I don't want to reach out to him. And the feeling is not mutual. You know? So I think that's my biggest thing. That's my biggest thing is I don't want to reach out to this man. And he'd be like, oh, okay. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, but I'm not in my feelings too deep. Like, because I was, I was really in my feelings behind them. Um, but yeah, all that went away. And then now for some reason, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So, we'll see. We will see. I want to kind of reach out because I'm closer to one of his friends and just see what he says, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's just, you know, I mean, he don't know what I be on. I don't know what he be on, but I want to reach out. Yeah, you know, I got a girl and this, this, this. Oh. <laughs> 
that I hurt my heart, but I do want to just reach out and say, you know, I miss you. I hope all is well. It's always killer sending that first text. I don't know. We'll see y'all. I'll keep y'all posted. I may get up the nerve to send the text or call them. Then I may not. I may just leave it alone. But yeah. Anyway, that's what's on my heart today. Right now, and like I said later, I'm gonna uh I'm gonna get those vlogs out about the movie reviews. But yeah, I hope all is well with everybody. Y'all take care. Love y'all.